Hey everyone, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, basically this video is just going to be a super quick video, um, kind of a teaser video to show you some of the work I'm doing on a new project that I just started. Uh, basically it's going to be a foam board project and the plane is loosely based on the uh, new Russia uh, T-50 Pack FA fighter. I guess that's jointly being developed by Russia and India actually. It's a fifth generation fighter and it's supposed to be a stealth fighter also similar to the uh, US Air Force F-22. I really like the lines of it. Um, though it is kind of similar to the F-22, it does have its own unique look um, and it looks pretty cool. So basically I found some images on uh, Wikipedia and other places on the internet. I use those kind of based off the design that I'm going to be making. Okay, here's a quick view of the uh, CAD drawing that I put together pretty quick for this uh, Foam Fighter T-50. Um, basically, like I said, it's going to be loosely based off of the uh, T-50 Pack FA fighter. Um, the shape is pretty close to the uh, resemblance of the drawing that I found. Um, it does have some of its own kind of unique accents that I drew in just because of working with foam board and stuff like that. But I think it's going to be a pretty cool looking plane once it's done. So um, let's take a look at the work I've uh, got started and uh, see what you guys think. Okay everyone, here's a quick look at the first prototype that I threw together. Um, I think it came out fairly good with um, some of the lines of the front fuselage I'm not really happy with so I'm going to be redesigning that a little bit better. I think the uh, front of the fuselage right up here kind of came out too fat and I'm not really happy with it so I'll be making some adjustments there but um, overall I'm pretty happy with the way the rest of the plane turned out as you can see I'm kind of trying to go for a little more scale looking uh, type of fuselage look on this plane and I think it's starting to come together here's a view of the bottom side of the plane as you can see it's got kind of contours for where the uh, air intake ducts are and uh, I think it'll give a little bit more scale look while it's in the air. And, uh, I was pretty happy with the way that came out. Um, there was quite a bit of bends and uh, different cuts you had to make in the uh, foam board to get it to fit right. Uh, but I think I'm kind of working in the right direction so it's going to be interesting to see how it all pans out. Okay guys, here's a real quick uh, look at the rear view of the plane. Um, basically this is one of the areas where I had to make a little bit of a concession on. Um, basically the motors on the real plane extend quite a bit farther back. But I trim that area up because this is where the uh, uh, brushless outrunner motor is going to be bolted. There's a space here where I'm going to be mounting the uh, typical basswood motor mount. And I left it open here. There's probably going to be a little door that um, closes that up. And that'll be where the wires to the motor go so you can get have access to them. So I think the uh, design's coming along uh, pretty good. So uh, basically that's where we're going to leave off in this video. Like I said, it's just going to be a little teaser video. I'm going to be making a whole nother plane. Um, like I said, I wasn't totally happy with the way the fuselage turned out. There's some of the uh, edges and just the front of it I thought was kind of too fat looking. So I'm going to be adjusting the, the design of that. And then uh, once I get that uh, built the way I want, then I'll uh, put it together and actually start flying it. Um, this plane I'm probably going to be using for doing some uh, um, CG tests, um, throwing it around, see where the plane balances out and uh, see how it glides so um, I'll update you guys more when I actually get started on the putting together the actual plane that's going to be flying so uh, thanks for joining me see you guys soon